Now, can you name a prominent Welsh scientist or engineer? There are plenty out there. Some are even Nobel Prize winners, like Sir Martin Evans of Cardiff University. But if science is to become a much bigger success story in Wales and in Welsh schools, the experts say that more needs to be done. Wendy Sadler is a physicist on a mission to inspire the next generation of Welsh scientists. She believes that working with children at an early age is the key to transforming attitudes to careers in science. We've got to secure a supply of future generation of scientists to help the economy and to help the country grow. And we need to make sure that everyone in Wales has a better awareness of how science works so that they can make informed decisions about their lives. Put your hands up if you like science. <gasps> Brilliant! <laughs> OK, put your hands down. Becky is a scientist and Becky's going to have lots of fun with you this afternoon doing lots of experiments. Most primary school students love science, they get very excited about it, they're naturally curious about the world around them. But a lot of the educational research says that you really have to tackle them now to get their attitudes to science more positive. Because when they get to secondary school, students' attitudes tend to change. They don't perhaps see the link between the science they do at school and the careers it could take them to. They get that if they need to be a doctor or a teacher, they need science, but they don't see the hundreds of opportunities open to them if they choose science at school. One of the problems that can happen is the stereotypes of science. If you Google the word scientist and look at the images that come up, you often get a really mad professor with wild hair and it's always a white male. We know that scientists aren't like that. They come in all shapes and sizes and some of them are even female. So this lack of positive role models for secondary schools is a real issue. Despite the fact that people talk about this Brian Cox effect, which results in an uptake of interest in science across the UK, this isn't really reflected in Wales. So one of the problems at secondary school can be that many students aren't taught separate sciences by specialist teachers. So for example, less than 20% of students at secondary school get taught physics by a physics graduate or someone with a physics degree. Now, it's not to say that other science graduates can't teach physics, but it's just that perhaps there's a lack of enthusiasm or passion for the subject, and I think this can sometimes be picked up by the students. So in Wales, this is perhaps a particular problem, because there's a big generation of physics teachers about to retire, and these gaps need to be filled by new graduates. <laughs> So one of the things we often hear from teachers is that it's so hard to actually fit everything into the curriculum at secondary school level particularly, and there's so much pressure for exam results, so they often have to bring in extra people to do engagement and kind of enrichment activity. And this pressure really comes from things like the PISA league tables, showing that Wales is performing less well than countries of a similar size and similar background. So it's not just a problem for the scientists, there's been lots of research to show that all across the world the number of science graduates is really closely linked to a very healthy economy. So in Wales it seems we're great about having pride in our local sports stars and our musicians, but perhaps we're not so good at shouting about the Welsh stars of science and engineering. It would be interesting to know how many people could name a Welsh scientist or engineer, especially if it was someone who's engaged in current contemporary research. So culturally, I think we should perhaps be shouting louder about the achievements of Welsh science. Give a big round of applause to Becky. That was uh, Wendy Sadler with that very clear message. That's it for this week's programme. We'll be back at the usual time.